I'm Kyle T, and my project-based service learning is on the pH of ocean water, specifically in the South Bay, but it happens everywhere. It especially happens in places where we use fossil fuels a lot and a lot of carbon dioxide is released into the air. And so I'm going to be relating three topics specifically that we've learned to this problem. So pH means if, or it measures if the water is based or acidic. Seven and under is acidic, eight and over is based. So for certain bodies of water, it's going to be different pH. But for ocean, it has to be a bit based, so about 8.2. Over time, it has gone down 0.1, and you're like, you might be like, that's not a lot. But it is. It is about a 25% decrease because the relationship between pH and acidity is not directly proportional. So the first topic that relates to... This problem that we learned in the beginning of the year is chemical change. So when we burn fossil fuels such as coal, uh, petroleum, methane gas, their chemical properties are changing. Um, coal and petroleum, when you burn those, they're actually changing into... Um, a gas with a lot of CO2 and that CO2 obviously is a different the CO2 mixed with different gases is obviously a completely different substance so therefore it is a chemical change it changes shape it changes in basically essentially everything and when the CO2 goes into the water it's also causing a chemical change in the H2O because the, the water becoming acidic is technically a chemical change because the bonds are being altered and therefore the substance will be different. So CO2 interrupting some of the H2O bonds is not good for the ocean and it makes it more acidic. So all of this is a chemical change it's pretty um, simple. It's not physical because physical is just shape and size and certain things. But throughout this whole process, it's chemically um, changing. And most of the substances are that are changing, the carbon dioxide, are hurting the earth, especially the oceans, because it's hurting or making the pH more acidic. And this chemical change, it's going to be hard for marine life to adapt because they're used to based water, and as the acidity goes down, it will destroy things like coral reefs, and especially if, um, certain like shell animals in there. It will make the shells um, fade away. So basically, we can prevent chemical change by using different forms of energy that don't really need chemical change. It's just converting like solar energy and wind energy instead of using uh, fossil fuels, which are dangerous because of that chemical change. So that's how it relates to the first topic and